Hi, welcome back to Outdoor Gear and Skills. I just want to talk real quick uh, about a project that we did yesterday. Uh, we cleaned out this area that we call our barn. It's uh, between the studio that's right here and then attached as a covered wood pile on the other side of this wall right here. And when we bought the house four years ago, the previous owners had left a bunch of stuff in here. We threw a bunch of junk in here and it just got really out of control. We would have the, the lawnmower right at the entrance of the door. You couldn't get in, get around anything. So my youngest son uh, started pulling everything out yesterday. And so we took a lot of stuff out. A lot of it's junk, so it's going to the dump. A lot of it is getting donated uh, to a local place in Roseburg called Heartwood Resources, which is run by NeighborWorks Umpqua. And so there's a, a lot of building materials and different things there that get donated. So a lot of the stuff we have will be able to go there and someone else will be able to use it. But one of the things that we had was this cabinet that was in our kitchen when we had our house fire uh, two years ago. And so it was damaged. You can kind of see uh, a little bit of the burn here. These were supposed to get fixed and reused. They never did. So this one was just sitting in here. So my son, my wife, and I uh, screwed it, attached it to the two by four frame here. So my wife's got some stuff to organize her garden. Uh, the garden's right over here, so it makes it really nice to be able to have everything that we need for the garden. So one of the things that we did was we had five of these 55 blue, um, blue 55 gallon water barrels in here. We moved a couple out and we're using them to water the garden. And then we're going to move them to my daughter's house because we got these IBCs uh, that I spoke about uh, a little while ago. So this whole thing was stacked. We had a bunch of old wood and things like that. So I've got some of the good wood right here that uh, we're going to save. The rest of it is just going to get cut up, chopped up, stacked in the wood pile uh, for burning in here when uh, the fire bands over. And eventually we will put a, a wood burning stove back in the house. Uh, to replace the the fireplace that we ripped out but as you can kind of see it's a lot cleaner we still have some stuff some leftover pecs that we're going to use uh, that I've got to clean up a little bit but this whole thing was covered so now I've got both my IBCs in here which is really important because it keeps it out of direct sunlight so I'm going to get the water for purification system for it uh, so I can get both of these going but one of the nice things was this location right here was really level. We just had to shore it up just a little bit further back where we were thinking about putting it. There was a big elevation change and I was concerned about filling those and the weight shifting and knocking against a wall or causing some problems. So these right here are really stable in there. And we have almost everything that's going to go back in here. So we've got quite a bit of open space. I do have a couple of things in here, uh, like my speed bag uh, that's old that needs to get replaced. But I'm going to mount that in the garage, which is one of the next projects. But just being organized, being able to get to stuff, being able to have the tools on the wall where we can get to them and just feel like crap is gone was a, a huge relief and it felt really good to get that done we spent uh, about three to four hours doing that yesterday so that was really good being organized to me is really important i just like to know what i have where it is be able to get to it when i need it and now we're able to just do that and still keep our lawnmower and everything out of the the rain the Mornings are pretty cool here now in Southern Oregon. And so when we go out, there's a lot of condensation on the windshields. And so we're kind of getting into, uh, you know, some changing weather and we could have some, you know, rain coming before too long. And I'm not one for keeping lawnmowers, rototillers, weed whackers out in the rain. So it's really nice to have this right here. Being organized is important, whether it's your go bag, your backpack, your purse, your wallet, um, you know, for me personally, I've just got my wallet and all my cards are in a certain order. So I know where to go when I'm grabbing them. And so that makes it really nice. You know, being organized is a great skill to have. And I think for most people just offers peace of mind, you know, quiet calmness. And so it was really good feeling to get that done. 
We've been doing a lot of traveling this year. Um, we've had, you know, a few deaths in the family, so that's had some unexpected travel. We've had a couple planned trips, but it was nice to finally be here with the boys uh, on a Saturday this summer and be able to jump in and tackle that. So it was really good. Um, so again, thank you for watching Outdoor Gear and Skills. Uh, we appreciate the support. If you have any favorite tips or anything for organization or how you set up things in your yard, in your property, garage, anything like that, please comment below. We'd love to hear from you. And thanks again for watching Outdoor Gear, Gill and Skills. I can't even say it. Outdoor Gear and Skills. And we'll see you out there.